What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another... Oh, God. Okay, let's try this again. Alright. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so, in this episode right here, we're gonna be direct because we do have the firepower for this. Now, in our last episode, I managed to get myself in a lowland sand true, and I said I was gonna bring him in to take over a spot on my team. But since we are in Celadon City, grass type uh, gym leader, I think this is appropriate right now. We should probably go to the gym leader first before we do anything else. Plus, it's because my team is like highly overpowered and you know, this is Buckus time to shine. So, what we're going to do right here is we are actually going to the Celadon City Gym first, then take the tour of Celadon City, and then after that, you know, Team Rocket and all that, all their their junk right there. So let's go, let's get this done right here, guys. So here we are in Celadon City, everything great and all that stuff. We don't care. I don't care about you, as many of you guys would already know. Team Rocket is here, and we are going to be taking care of them a little bit later on. Uh, as for right now, we're not. We're just gonna surpass everything right here. We're just gonna beat everybody. Look at that, Team Rocket member right there. Nobody cares. So let's go ahead, Secret Chop or Chop Down or something like that. I don't even know. And let's go right ahead and uh, take on the Gym Leader right here because uh, we we got we do we do have the firepower. So as you can see, old Creepy Man is still there. Now if you talk to this girl right here, Jigglypuff, fun fun. My Jigglypuff has an adamant nature. It's easy to raise its attack, but not easy to raise its special attack. Its double slap is a real slap in the face. That is true. Very, very true. Now, the old creepy guy, he's still there looking at the girls. Ha <laughs> ha! This gym is great! It's full of strong trainers. And girls. Of course, they didn't want to make the, the guy a little perverted and all that stuff. So, here we are, Celadon City Gym. Gym leader, Erica. The nature-loving princess. This is very appropriate for our butt kids right here. Now... Look at that. It's looking all beautiful and everything. And here we have this lady. Oh, so you want to challenge Erica, the gym leader. I'll have you know that the, we only let trainers with cute Pokemon enter this gym. Do you have one? Here, let me see. Well, I guess Pikachu counts as one, right? Huh? Pikachu? It's it's cute. Super cute. Can, can I pet it just a bit, please? Sure. Oh, 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 it feels so good. I just want to bury my face in his belly. It smells good, too. I love it. F fine. Then I guess you can uh, let you into the Celadon City Gym, seeing as you bought a cute Pokemon and all. I'm pretty sure it works for everybody. Uh, not, not for everybody, I think. So there's Erica waiting for us. And what a good way to not really send off Budkiss, but just to... Use Buckus in all of its ability right here. Yes, Buckus is the Pokemon that I will be replacing with Sandshrew eventually, but it doesn't necessarily mean, guys, that I'm going to replace Buckus forever. I mean, there are other trainers out there that I could use Buckus in, so don't worry, I will be training Buckus. I will be raising him, leveling up as I level up my team right here. This is not. I'm not just going to stick with Pokemon and abandon the rest right here because this gives us the benefit of, you know, just capturing as many Pokemon as we want. So as you can see right here, bam. Look at that. Oddish. Meet Buckus. Buckus. Get that flamethrower. Look at that. Oh, yes. Yeah, Buckus is going to do well right here. It's Revenge Tour starts today. We defeated K. We get some money and we're doing something right, I guess. So let's move on right here. Of course, you don't need any Pokemon with cut technique because you got Pikachu right here with the chop down technique. And I, I do love the way they, they made this puzzle right here. Every step we go, it leads to a trainer here and there. So we're going to be battling every single trainer, especially this beauty right here. Oh, welcome. I was getting bored. You were. Okay. Let's do this. Beauty Mai wants to battle. Mine from Yu-Gi-Oh! coming out with an execute, execute I should say. So let's go, Budkiss. Time to destroy everybody. Alrighty. Look at this, my loyal little puppy. Flamethrower attack for the win. Oh yeah, you didn't like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Look at that. 
Oh my god, now, it, it does suck that, you know, battling doesn't really increase our levels uh, quickly, so, you know, whatever levels we can get, we can get. I mean, I'm pretty sure Buckus will be at, like, level 27 by the end of this, maybe? I don't know. But in the meantime, we do have backup in such very good Pokemon, you know, Pikachu does have a flying type move. Uh, let's see, we do have Mew. We haven't used Mew yet, but we have Mew. And here we have another opponent. Weren't you picking in the in here earlier? No. 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 It wasn't me. So here we go. Picnic or Tina wants the battle, and she will be sending out her Gloom. All right, Gloom. Bring it on, because Buckus, ready to kick some ass, take names, and get that gym badge right here. So let's go again. Flamethrower for the win. Look at that. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, god dang. It survived. And here comes its Mega Drain. Okay. I see how you're doing. I see what you're doing. But you're still burned, homegirl. Look at that. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and use another move right here. Heat Wave for the win. Oh, yes. Love that Heat Wave. I actually thought Heat Wave was going to be stronger than Flamethrower, but that right there is a little bit difficult. And look at that, Tina. Defeated. How's it feel to fail? Not so good. Alright, so let's go. Let's go. Battle some more Pokemon trainers. Here we have another beauty looking at us. Look, look! See by Pokemon. I like grass type. I like how they are easy to raise. Yeah, they are very easy to raise. It's just a. Uh... Yeah, easy to defeat as well. So here we go. Beauty Tina wants the battle. Or Tanya, and she will be coming out with an Oddish. Now, first trainer here with multiple Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's go right ahead and do this. Flamethrower attack on the Super Saiyan Oddish. Look at that. Oddish has been defeated. Buckus is kicking ass. I am feeling good. Look at that. Look at Buckus doing its little, uh, its slow twerk right there. Look at that. Slow twerk. Slow twerk. <laughs> So here comes Whipping Bell. What's up, girl? Bring it. Let's go. Flamethrower attack. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Weeping Bell has been defeated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Leonardo grows to level 34. And, to or it's Tamiya. Wow, my bad. Kind of screwed up her name right there. So let's continue on right here. I'm going to be slicing and dicing every single spot right here that way we can continue on and battle everybody and I mean everybody so let's go right down and see what we got right here gonna be running 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 look at that and uh, that right there is not the right entrance so let's go right back look at the backpack that I have it's pretty cool and Pikachu I'm gonna get you some new threads actually in this area or in Celadon City you can buy some more uh, uh, more clothes for your Pokemon so that won't be far, too far ahead, uh, along right there. And, well, as you can see, I'm going to get to you, Erica, pretty soon. But in the meantime, I'm going to defeat the trainers right here in the gym. And here we have two more trainers. What's your hobby? Yes, let's battle Pokemon. Okay. Bring it. Bring it, homegirl. So here we go. Challenge by Lori. Let's get it. Let's go. Bring it. Okay, so here we go. Gloom, looking like it's gloomy and all that stuff. So here we go, flamethrower. For the win. And it nearly takes out Gloom, but look at that. Burned. And here comes a Mega Drain, which will kind of repeat the process of what happened in the last battle against the Gloom right here. And yes, you are burnt to a crisp. That's right. Here we go. Heat Wave for the win. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yes. Buckus, you're kicking ass right now, buddy. This is the gym for you, and Smasher grows to level 33. Lori just uh, isn't... She isn't taking it right now. She ain't digging nothing. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to be healing up our Pokemon right here. Because I do not want Buckus to faint in this one. Like, what was the point of just keeping him one more episode if... We're not going to take care of him. So, there you go. Butkus has now been fully healed, and... Well, we got one more trainer to go right here. Let's see. Actually, two more. So, here's an Ace trainer. 
Welcome to the Celadon City Gym. You better un not underestimate the nice ladies here. Well, I'm not. I'm just going to, you know, ruin them. I'm just going to destroy every single one of their Pokemon. Let's go. Weeping Bell. On the attack. So let's go, Buckus. Let's get this, Buckus. Here we go. We're going to be going for a flamethrower. And... Oh, wow. Acid attack. Does does a damage right here, but here goes that flamethrower right here. Look at that. Flamethrower does its thing. Weeping Bell, you have been eliminated. Alrighty, okay. And she's gonna be coming out with a Tangela, so we're gonna continue on right here. Butt Kiss, this is the Butt Kiss show right here, featuring Butt Kiss the Growlithe. And here we go again, Flamethrower, but of course, they're gonna be faster than my Pokemon. And, well, it's not super effective, but here comes the super effective attack. Destroyed. Alrighty, so the, a step up in competition. Look at this. Buckus grows to level 27. Yeah, buddy. And there goes Mary. She's like, oh, beaten. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's go right ahead and... Let's go... Actually, hold on. Wrong move. Let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon. And you know what? It might not be much. Oh, actually, hold on. It might not be much, okay? So off screen, I kept on training a specific Pokemon. Uh, let's see. We're not going to be using Dragonair in this one right here. So we're going to remove her from the party for just for just this episode. And uh, we're going to be putting in Kabuto just to get a little bit more um, experience points. Because the reason why I brought Kabuto is in here in here is to evolve it into Kabutops eventually. Now that I got the Helix Fossil, it won't be a problem having both Fossil Pokemon. So, whatever I can get, I can get. Plus, it's considered a traded Pokemon, so it's boost like a the or the experience the experience will be boosted on that stuff too. So let's go come out with that Bell Sprout. She's coming out with three Pokemon right here. Okay, let's go. Bring it. Let's get this flamethrower. Yeah, that's right. Bell, 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 Sprout, Bell Sprout won't have anything. Won't have any effect on me. Look at that. Bell Sprout just destroyed. Yes, sir. Look at that. And she's coming out with another Pokemon right here. So let's see what Heat Wave does. If Heat Wave can actually take it, that way I could conserve a little bit of the flamethrowers right here. So here comes Heat Wave. Look at that. Equally strong. Yeah, buddy. The, or the Pokemon cheat code. Let's do it again. Look at that. Alrighty. Three Bell Sprouts. Such a shame because here comes another Heat Wave. Bam. And if any of these uh, Grass type Pokemon were to maybe use, I don't know, Sunny Day against my Buckus, that's a bad idea too because power up for Fire type Pokemon. Hilarious. So, let's go right ahead and. Uh, wait, what am I. What am I. Nah, nah. Actually, no, I wasn't going to do anything, so let's go ahead and cut this down. I know that the other one probably leads to Erica, probably. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it, it leads to Erica, but I'm seeing... Okay, so I was about to see if there was one more trainer left before Erica, so let's go ahead and cut this down. Okay, let's cut it down. Thank you, Pikachu, for all your assistance. And, well, this one will probably... Probably lead to Erica right here. Alrighty, so let's see where this leads me. Is there another trainer? Oh yeah, it leads to Erica. Okay, but where does this lead to? To nowhere. Okay, so here we are in front of Erica, and before we do anything, let's go right ahead and take a look at our Budkiss. Uh, first, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and use an Elixir. Or what was it? Hold on. This one, select Team PP to a C. Okay, so we got four of them. Let's just give this to uh, Flamethrower just in case. All right. Let's do this. Bring it on, Erica. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Da 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 da. Z. Oh, wow. The hell? She just, like, fell asleep right there. Hmm. Oh, dear. I must have dozed off. OK, 
Okay, alright. Welcome! My name is Erica. I am the gym leader of the Celadon City Gym. I am a student of Art of Flower Arranging. My Pokemon are all grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you perhaps wish to challenge me? Very well. But I shall not lose. Alrighty. Let's do it. So here we go. Gym battle number four. And it's against the lovely gym leader, Erica. Like she said, she does have grass type Pokemon. So here we go. Coming out with her Tangela. I'm coming out with Budkiss right here. That's right. We're going to destroy you. With a flamethrower right here. I don't care how much levels you have. We're going to destroy you. Flamethrower. Bam. And there goes Tangela. Woo. Buckus kicking butt taking names. Look at this. And then she will be coming out with a weeping bell. So I'm going to continue right here. Alrighty. What up, Whippy Mel? Take this flamethrower. For the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And oh wow. Oh wow! And we're poisoned. Ah, oh, crap baskets. So we are in a conundrum right here. Damn it! Okay. So Budkiss has been defeated just by poison. <sighs> okay. Let's go to Sparky. Alrighty. I see what's going on here. Alright, so I'm gonna take a hit here and there, and we're gonna actually hold on. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a hit. We are going to take a hit, and uh, but we're gonna revive Budkiss because again, this is the Budkiss show. And Budkiss has been revived. Poison jab, of course you missed because Pikachu loves me so much. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Budkiss, and then have Pikachu just finish this guy off right here. So there we go. Budkiss has been revived and healed. All right, poison jab, and. That poison jab does hit me pretty well. Not poison. So let's try Pikachu's newest move. Floaty Fall. Let's go. Get over here. Use those balloons of doom. Finish him. Bam. Super effective. That's right. And Pikachu just keeps on looking back at it saying that, you see? Never doubt me. 450 experience points and everybody's getting points. Here she comes out with a vile plume, so let's go right ahead and go back to the man of the hour, Bud Kiss. Let's do this. Alright, Sparky, get your butt over here. Let's do this, Bud Kiss. Alrighty. Vile plume. Come on. Look at that. Don't care about your big old plant thing over there. Eat this flamethrower right here. Flamethrower for the win. Bam! And it doesn't faint, but here comes that Mega Drain. Good gravy. Alrighty, so it nearly takes half our HP right there. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with another Flamethrower. See if we can just defeat it. Look at this. Bam! This Vile Plume is a stingy one and nearly beats us right now. Alright, come on. Come on! Let's go. Flamethrower! For the win! Damn it! Nearly does it! And here comes a Moonblast! Bam! So Budkiss! Oh my god! Oh my god! Well... That's a shame. Alright, I'm gonna throw out Kabuto. Hold on, just a sec. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna work out like that. Okay, so... Let's go with Sparky. Ah, oh, god dang it. I wanted to make it all about Budkiss, and yeah, he just kind of screwed the pooch right there. Probably should have evolved it. Yeah, probably should have evolved it. But you know what? It is what it is. He will still be on our journey in some point, in some case and points and all that stuff. So, here we are, revived, and here comes a Mega Drain. Alright. Okay, Vile Bloom, you keep on smiling. You keep on smiling. But guess what? Here we go. Floaty fall for the win. Oh yeah, the balloons of doom. Look at this. Say goodbye, fly plume. That's right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. And everybody grows levels. Not yet. Oh, I can see defeat. You're rem remarkably strong. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Kicked your butt. Take your name. That's right. 
So, she's like, I must confer on you a rainbow badge. That's right, throwing out the peace sign. Nux me, Pikachu. That's right. A rainbow badge raises the level of Pokemon willing to listen to you to level 50 for Pokemon that you have received from other trainers. And here, if you'd like, please also take this with you. We get ourselves the TM53 Mega Drain, a very, very beneficial move for us. TM53 contains Mega Drain. Half the damage it inflicts it's, uh, is drained from uh, the target to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree That's that it's a wonderful move? It is. It is a very good move. And, oh my! So you are cataloging Pokemon that you catch. I must say I'm impressed. I myself would never collect a Pokemon if it's not, uh, not if it were not beautiful. Man, somebody's shallow. So, Pikachu is calling me out, so let's see what he has to say. What's up, buddy? That's right. Sparky Might was a good move. It gave you a high five. That's a good boy. Um, oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. My bad. My bad. My bad. There we go. You get a belly rub. That's right. That's right. You get a belly rub. Alrighty. And you know what? Screw it. You're getting food. Hold on. Ah, damn it. Okay, so it's pretty much it right there. And, well, we're going to get the heck out of here because we are done. Yeah, buddy. Four badges in all. We are the victors right here. So, this is like a first. A first for, you know, any walkthroughs going into Kanto. Um, yeah, me just, you know, going straight to the gym rather than doing the important stuff like, I don't know. Beating Team Rocket, taking a tour of Celadon City and all that stuff, getting to self co and then finding out who that ghost was. So, that will be it for the, this episode right here, guys. In the next one, we will be taking a tour of Celadon City, and then, you know, we'll see what, el what else happens right here along the way. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What else do I have to say right here? Let's see. Um, yeah, Kabuto, you're, you're done. Actually, hold on. Eventually, I will evolve Kabuto off screen. It's not that important, but you know, I kind of want, kind of want to complete the Pokédex. So there are quite a few unattainable Pokémon in this game right here. So if you guys have like a Bell Sprout, or if you guys have like any Pokémon that does not belong or this you can't find in here, please let me know. I will be willing to trade, and uh, you know, just send me my, uh, just send me or. Find my friend code down below on the description right there. You can find me. So thank you guys once again for watching this episode. I'll see you guys next time.